Welcome everyone, Tony here. I have another Quest Digest for you where I cover all the Quest news for the week in under 5 minutes. And remember to like and subscribe as this really helps me create more content like this in the future. Let's get started. Those with an Oculus Link cable will be pleased to know that SteamVR have released a hotfix that fixes the positional latency and what that basically means is that players should see less latency when moving their head through physical space. In other news we heard of something called Oculus Del Mar. Now what is that? Well nobody really knows but there's been guesses that this is the successor to the Quest with Del Mar being some sort of code name. Now does that mean there's going to be a Quest 2 coming out in the near future? Well I doubt it but interesting nonetheless. Now in past Quest Digest episodes I brought you a bunch of different alphas and betas for you to test out and play and I'm bringing you another one. This is Echo VR, you can sign up. I will leave the link to the website in the description below. Soar into co op action. So, this game is a multiplayer game where two teams face off against one another in zero gravity, trying to score goals against either team to get the highest score count. Now, next up, we have a new trailer and a release date for the much anticipated Phantom Covert Ops, which has been delayed a few times but is now very, very close to being released on the quest. You're under fire! Get out of that! This is a stealth game with a difference as it takes place all within a kayak. It's set for release June 25th and really look forward to seeing more. Next up we have the Full Throttle Pistol Whip update which adds this new Mad Max inspired map that you see here and it adds two new modifiers, one called Scavenger where you have to pistol whip to reload your gun and the other called One and Done which removes all armoured enemies in the game. You also see in the Oculus Store for the price of $14.99 Australian dollars, which is about $8.50 in US dollars or 7 British pounds colour space. A relaxing colouring book experience. Now there's 13 worlds to colour in included at launch and it's like stepping into a beautifully animated colouring book. Now to the side quest door and we see another hand tracking experience called surfaces. This allows you to experience hand tracking with a bunch of different tactile surfaces. It promises to give you a hand tracking experience like you've never had before. You also see Dead Scope, a survival horror game which has some really unique game mechanics. Now I checked this one out myself. If you want to know more about it, there's a link in the description below which shows me playing through the first 10 minutes. And if you're a horror fan, definitely give this one a try. And just a quick mention, in my last Quest Digest video, I mentioned LaserStorm Team Arena. Well, it's now out in the side quest store. And also, there's a March sale going on with Chessstar. These are side quest games you need to pay for, and there's a link in the description below. Now, what you're seeing here is Cyber Action Team Arena. Unfortunately, there's no commercial version available. But what it is, is a 5 versus 5 Team Arena combat game. And it's really cool to see these kinds of things, to see what the Quest is capable of. But one game that is going to be commercially available to the Quest later this month is B-Team. And essentially it's a really easy to pick up and play mini game compilation experience. Ooh, I bet you felt that one. And we round off this video with news that there's a new update coming late this month that redesigns the whole user interface for your Oculus Quest. As you can see, the new update brings a cleaner design and also when you press the Quest menu button, instead of taking you out of the game like it used to, it now just brings the menu up within the game so it doesn't interrupt your gameplay experience. And it also allows you to bring up multiple windows at the same time within the headset. Well that's it from me today, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be kept up to date with all your weekly quests, news and I'll catch you next time.